Oh, look at the Gnome King's emerald sparkle in that light. Oh, look at me play with fire as I dance this through the air. Oh, hi there. My name's Andy, and welcome to the Cakes Have Eyes and my perfect kitchen where nothing ever goes wrong, and I definitely don't ever storm out in tears. Oh no, I have to do math. Uh-oh. <laughs> Today, I'm making a cake inspired by a movie that most likely you will either have never heard of or seen, or when I say its name, you'll scream for the next 30 seconds out of the sheer terror that it brought you as a child. Of course, I'm talking about Feruza Balk's first acting on film experience, Return to Oz. Pause for screaming, pause for screaming. More than Pennywise, more than Poltergeist. Return to Oz terrorized an entire generation of kids in a great way. Honestly, I think that Return to Oz is one of those stories like Never Ending Story where it teaches you it's okay to be scared. You should be scared. Be scared, but don't give up. In honor of Return to Oz, I'm going to be making Head 22's Pumpkin Curry Cake. It's going to be made of layers of green curry pumpkin cakes. Basically pumpkin cakes with some green curry paste in there. In between, it's going to have layers of spicy coconut cream. So coconut and Thai chili. And then that's all going to be frosted in a Macroot Lime Ermine Frosting. <laughs> I'm going to be nice on myself and make it over the course of two days. So today, I'm just going to make my cakes, I'm going to make my spicy coconut custard, and I'm gonna throw it all, I'm gonna let the cakes just sit out overnight in plastic wrap, and I'll wrap up the custard to chill overnight. Tomorrow morning, I'll crumb coat and frost the cake, set it to freeze for a bit, I'm gonna do a little bit of carving, I think, uh, to make it look a little bit more like a pumpkin. So join me on a trip through the dilapidated streets of the Emerald City as we make Head 22's Pumpkin Curry Cake. Let's go. So, right off the bat, if I were you, and me in all future instances where I make this cake, assuming it works out, uh, I wouldn't make this much cake. <laughs> you can find the recipe for this Head 22's pumpkin curry cake on my website, thecakeshaveeyes.com, slash terrific cakes, slash return to Oz, um, or just terrific cakes, my blog. You can find recipe cards there for every cake that I make, at least the recent ones. Maybe I'll go back in time and do them. Cake itself is just a yellow cake with some green curry paste. It's a creaming method for this cake. Creaming method is basically how a lot of cakes are made. So first thing to do, tie back your pigtails if you're using a standing mixer uh, so that you don't accidentally decapitate yourself. Although accidentally decapitating myself would really be on brand for Return to Oz. 226 grams of butter, or approximately two sticks worth of butter, to my mixer. 400 grams sugar. One tablespoon or 10 grams of baking powder. Uh, one teaspoon 
kosher salt. This yellow cake recipe is adapted from Stella Parks's yellow cake in Brave Tart. And in Brave Tart, uh, they include potato flour to help uh, make it lighter and fluffier. So we'll see if that helps. You need to cream usually for like four to five minutes. It makes a huge, huge difference in the aeration and the lightness of your cakes. When I actually learned how to cream cake recipes correctly, I was so angry and everything was so much better. So when creaming, really four to five minutes is what you're going for. Okay, doing that now. So this is about halfway through the creaming process. You can see that it's quite light and fluffy. Uh, I'm going to scrape the whole thing down though. Scraping is so, so, so important. <laughs> Again, something that I feel like I always used to not do even when recipes called for it, but it really makes a difference. Really scrape all the way down in the bowl. Get that middle really nice. And then we're gonna cream for just another two and a half minutes. The scent of the green curry in this cake is very, very strong, which is good. I want this cake to taste like curry. I don't want the cake to just taste like pumpkin. I want it to taste like pumpkin curry. Sweet pumpkin curry, which is, pumpkin curry is kind of sweet already. These look pretty good. I'm gonna throw these in for 40-ish minutes and Make my whole house smell like sugar, butter, green curry, and pumpkin, which is gonna be delicious. While my first round of cakes, my eight inch cake layers bake, I'm going to whip up a coconut cream. It's kind of like a coconut, well, it's coconut pastry cream. This is a 13.5 ounce can of coconut milk, so adding 10 Thai chilies. Uh, I just grow Thai chilies. I believe some people also call these bird's eye chilies. Uh, if Thai chilies are expensive where you are, grow them in a window and you will in one season get 500 Thai chilies that you can put in your freezer for years. So just grow your own Thai chilies. Oh, do I sound like a homestead monster when I say that? <laughs> Oh, the prairie braids are really, the Kansas braids are really giving that effect too. Okay, 10 Thai chili, D grams of sugar, just about a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna whisk together my egg yolks, cornstarch. Look at how long my hair is sometimes, and then I realize when I'm holding a bowl that my hair is, fully in it. Yum. I don't think anyone who I've ever given cake to has pulled out like a 30 inch long piece of curly hair, but maybe they were just polite, too polite to tell me. This might be a mistake, but version blending some of the peppers. second date with my now husband, we rented three movies. We each picked a movie and then we picked a third movie together. So he picked 
uh, The Never Ending Story. <laughs> I picked Battle Royale, and then I somehow convinced him to go in on Return to Oz as our third movie. And you know, it's funny thinking of that as our second date, but also, as I've said to him, I was really upfront about who and what I was very early. Right away. The thing is, if you're having trouble finding the one, maybe uh, hop on Grinder and show your new friend uh, Return to Oz, and uh, maybe you too will be baking cakes in the suburbs in 17 years. Hard to say. This pepper milk <laughs> is just starting to simmer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to temper my eggs with this. What that basically means is you take this egg cornstarch mixture and you add a little bit of warm milk to it uh, to try to warm it up without actually cooking it. Your bowl will go everywhere, at least mine does. Oh, just a splash. Now I'm gonna add the rest. A little bit easier now that it's more liquid and now that my bowl is bouncing all over the counter, it goes right back in the pan. Well, once I see that first slow, lazy bubble, I then will start my three minute timer. And it'll go pretty fast after that. This is gonna take out all the seeds and chunks of pepper. So I believe it should temper the heat a little bit. Six inch cakes are in the oven, eight inch cakes are out and smell delicious. <laughs> As expected, they smell like sugar and curry and pumpkin and butter and they, I'm very excited to eat them. I think the most surprising thing about Return to Oz is just how dark it is. Literally, the movie is very great. It's very, creepy and eerie and there's just this air of impending doom everywhere you go. The performances by all the character actors are great. Jean Marsh as Mombi is incredible, uh, especially at the beginning when she's playing the nurse at the, I guess, asylum where they give Dorothy electroshock therapy. Again, if you have no idea what Return to Oz is, these words coming out of my mouth must be so confusing to you. morning. Uh, it is very rainy here. By the next morning, I mean 4.30 a.m. I just snapped awake this morning uh, thinking about this cake. I don't know why. Now I'm going to try to carve my cakes to look like a pumpkin. I've been freezing them for about an hour. Um, so yeah, let's uh, see if we can approximate a pumpkin. Okay, if I do that. Hmm. 
pull this just a little bit. Ooh, yeah, well, I was like, why is it so firm? Because I froze it. Taste the cake. Oh my God. Okay, no matter, no matter what happens from here on out, this pumpkin curry cake is delicious by itself. Honestly, you could serve this like cornbread and it would be great. Well, this is not how you're supposed to do this, but you know what, it worked, okay. That's spicy. Ooh, that's it's very spicy. Yeah, she's spicy. I feel it in my chest. Okay, more of this extremely spicy coconut fill. It's almost like a coconut paste at this point. When I say green curry, I mean the green curry paste in America that you can buy at the store. Uh, I actually have a book called 660 Curries that I love. So I do understand that curry isn't like a specific flavor. Curry is like a, basically it's like saying a blend or a spice mix. But this green curry paste, it's gonna find its way into maybe every pumpkin dessert I ever make again. Okay, I wanna at least level it, okay? Or whatever I'm calling this hack job I'm doing on the top of these cakes. Around the top a little bit. Ooh, actually, that is what I want to do with this. Aha, uh -huh. yes. Actually kind of nice. Put this in place. Okay, that's good. That frosting is very, very limey. Okay, round out my pumpkin. Every Oh, I don't know, three to six inches, kind of irregularly, I'm pressing into the cake. So as I'm going around, I'm just pressing, pressing. The thing with carving is you always need to be almost more aggressive than you think. And also this, right, like, okay, chill. So I thought I would just make a quick cake pop uh, and then form it into the top of a pumpkin stem. Uh, I'm just crumbling up some cake. Okay, let's see. I mean, this might be enough. Like, hmm. like uh, yeah, it's like a little, like a little pumpkin sorting hat. Again, we're not we're not looking too close on this. <laughs> okay, this looks like a little green pumpkin. If you squint your eyes. <laughs> so, where did I think the eyes were gonna go? green pumpkin is so cute. <laughs> I carved a little jack-o'-lantern face at him. Oh. <laughs> wow. That's adorable. I've never made a geode cake before. But from what I understand, it's basically rock candy. How do you get rock candy off of a stick? Uh, yes, that does work.
<laughs> in honor of one of the most traumatizing yet incredible children's movies ever made, I present to you Head 22's Pumpkin Curry Cake. Oh. <laughs> That's jaunty. Um, you know I've never done a geode cake? I don't know that you could count this as a geode cake. I will. Um, this cake smells delicious. Uh, let's dig into it. Head 22's pumpkin curry cake. <gasps> oh. Ooh, pumpkin-y. Moment, recover my stem. Okay, I did okay. Yeah. Oh wait, let me put my stem back on. Okay. Oh yes, nicely separated layers. Oh yeah, we got that pumpkin in there. All right. Wow. Mmm, okay. I know I say this all the time, but this is a very good cake. <laughs> wow. It's such an interesting flavor in a really good way. It's, I keep smelling the cake because it smells so delicious. Mmm. Good job. I had to do Return to Oz, right? Cause it did me so fucking dirty as a kid. You ruined so many nights. You did it. Wow, okay. Well, my name is Andy. This has been The Cakes of Eyes. Thank you, as always, for watching. Feel free to comment or like or share or subscribe. Sign up for my blog on my website, thecakesofeyes.com. I come out with a new recipe every couple of weeks, so make sure to follow me on Instagram and all those other places. You know, I just hope that, if nothing else, you watch some of these recipes and expand your idea of what cake can be. Right? There's lots of great vanilla cakes, but there's so many more interesting flavors out there. And I think when you add a pound of sugar and butter and a bunch of vanilla, almost anything goes together. And I'm really on a mission to jam them together into new and exciting, terrific cakes. So, as always, make sure you have some cake today. Make sure that you're living deliciously. Okay? Bye. I don't know if I'd show it to a five-year-old. I'm sure I saw it when I was five. And this is how I turned out, so you decide.